Hi everyone, my name is Marcus. Welcome to the Reef Nerd YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about overflow drains, some designs and how to silence them with a super simple DIY mod. So a few days ago I had a near disaster. The bulkhead fitting on my main drain was leaking. It was a slow drip, but as anyone who knows a thing or two about plumbing will tell you, a slow drip today is a full leak tomorrow. Thankfully it was dripping into my sump, but I knew I had to act on it immediately in order to fix it. So there I was at 2am, draining my weir, disassembling my entire overflow and plumbing setup and cleaning the main drain's bulkhead and the hardest part, the hole in the bottom of the weir, which as you can see from this photo is one, absolutely filthy and two, nearly impossible to access. I wish this video could be titled One Easy Trick to Clean Your Weir, but unfortunately I don't have that knowledge. Uh, instead, I had to struggle at very uncomfortable angles with my fingers and a cloth for hours to gradually chip away and clean the buildup of calcium carbonate and other debris away from the drain hole. Obviously, if the tank was empty or being decommissioned, I could simply soak the weir in vinegar or something like that in order to clean it and dissolve all the buildup. But in a live system, that simply wasn't an option. What I found was that I'm pretty sure the reason for the leak was just build up underneath the silicon seal. The silicon seal itself and the bulkhead and the glass are absolutely fine, thankfully. So after thoroughly cleaning it all and putting it back together, uh, the, the leak was no more. On the plus side of the whole event, I found this naturally spawned and growing sun coral on the PVC pipe of my main drain, which I've since glued onto my rock work in the main display. Score, free frag. Anyway, as I was reassembling the now spotlessly clean main drain assembly and bulkhead, but I also realized that I had never done a video about the custom silencer mod I had made to my overflow way back in the first week when I set up this tank. And this mod has been extremely effective in making my tank 100% silent, which unfortunately it wasn't quite out of the box. My Neptunian Cube K90 has a simple drain setup. There's a main drain open standpipe and there's an emergency drain which sits higher and it's also an open standpipe. In the middle of those two is the return which feeds into a nozzle which you can aim anywhere in the tank. This is an effective design and very safe as the main drain is well oversized for the volume of water in this tank. As such it's very unlikely to clog but even if it were to somehow clog up, the emergency is a straight shot down into the tank and very noisy, so you would be alerted easily if something was wrong. The downside is that an oversized open stock pipe is prone to siphon squeals, gurgling or trickling noises, depending on your return pump strength and the return rate of your overflow. <laughs> I knew I had to find a solution because I need this tank to be silent. So I began researching types of drains and what mods I could apply to my setup. There are three main types of overflow design that are common for people wanting a silent setup. The first I'll cover is a Herbie overflow. As you can see on this awesome diagram, thanks Marine Depot, it's very similar to the standard design on the Neptunian cube I have, except that it includes an accurate siphon adjustment valve on the main drain which can be used to control the water level in the overflow. The idea being that you restrict the return flow rate to the point where there is just a tiny, tiny trickle of water going down your emergency. This design allows for silence as the main drain will be under full siphon with no air in the main drain pipe, which is a source of noise, and such a small amount of water going down the emergency that it won't make any noise either. Now I could have easily done this to my tank by adding an accurate valve in the return manifold and achieved this. However, I decided against it. Something about using the emergency drain for anything other than its intended purpose of being an emergency just didn't sit right with me, so I kept looking. I then found the bean animal design. As you can see here, it follows the same design as the Herbie overflow in that the main drain is under full siphon, but then includes a secondary drain as well as the emergency for three drain lines in total. This represents the gold standard in drain design, however unfortunately this wasn't an option for me as a third hole in my weir is being used as a return and I didn't want to drill a fourth hole 
or plumb my return line external to the weir in order to accommodate this design. However, what I did notice here was that the secondary drain in the bean animal design is what's called a Durso standpipe overflow. The Durso standpipe is easy to make and does not take up much space. Instead of having the water crashing down into the bottom of the overflow box, the Durso allows for water to rise and enter the drain from an attached elbow, as demonstrated in this awesome diagram. Thanks again, Marine Depot. The Durso standpipe has a small vent hole on the top that prevents the full siphon from forming in the drain pipe. One thing to note with a Durso is that as it does not run under a full siphon, it has a flow limitation. So a single Durso standpipe probably won't work really well for large tanks, which definitely should add the extra pipe under full siphon for a full bean animal setup. But on a tank my size with an oversized standpipe anyway, it should be more than perfect. Given that my tank has a dedicated emergency drain pipe as well, it's a safe solution to implement. Whilst rare these days, if your tank does not have an emergency drain, I would be very careful about running a Durso, as they are more prone to blocking than simply an open standpipe. Let me show you how to build a Durso drain. It's really simple, you only need a few simple parts. A T fitting that matches your standpipe size, so it makes a perfect seal. You'll also want an elbow fitting to go onto the horizontal arm of the T fitting. So this is two pieces that I've clipped together. I can't actually take these apart now because I've glued them together, but you would buy an elbow fitting like this and a T fitting like this, making sure that the T fitting fits inside your standpipe snugly like that. You'll also want an oversized cap. So you don't want a cap the same size as the top of your T fitting. It needs to be one or two sizes larger so that it just sits on there loosely like that. You'll also want some airline tubing or RODI tubing, or in my case, I've used both and I'll show you why. So you assemble the parts as shown and you're gonna to wanna to drill a small hole in the top of the cap. I recommend using both RODI and airline tubing as I had. That way you can take advantage of the stiffness of the RODI tubing to help hold the cap in place and the flexibility of the airline tubing to route it wherever you want it to go in the weir and to make sure that it stays above the waterline. In practice, the drain is really silent. It easily handles the return requirements of my tank and you can tweak the size of the hole and the length of the airline tube if necessary. Essentially, the more restricted the airflow, the faster the water will drain and the closer to a full siphon you'll get. Longer airline tube or adding a small valve to the airline tube to restrict it will make the drain act faster. If you find that it's draining too quickly and causing all kinds of gurgling as the water level fluctuates, allow more air in, aka shorten the air tube or widen the hole. If it's not draining fast enough and your emergency is kicking in, lengthen the airline tube or make the hole smaller and that will cause the drain to act faster. I've had this Durso overflow plus emergency stockpipe set up running for the entire lifetime of my tank and it's worked silently and flawlessly the whole time. Anyway, I hope you really like this video. Please consider subscribing and liking the video if you find it helpful. It really helps my channel grow. My name is Marcus and you've been watching the Reef Nerd YouTube channel. Bye for now.